Supreme War Effort, Ukraine Deploys 10th Corps, Jamie Shea The country has sent in additional troops to the ongoing combat in Ukraine, notably Western-trained soldiers who have returned to the country to take part in a vital counteroffensive operation. The 10th Corps, a Ukrainian Special Reserve unit that has been kept back strategically while awaiting the right time to launch its breakout, is one of these forces. According to reports, parts of this corps are currently being used in an assault on Militapol. This development implies that the Ukrainians have now firmly committed themselves. The Ukrainian forces appear to have decided to go all out, despite the inherent hazards involved, as time has gone on and they have a greater need to convince their Western sponsors that their efforts are working. The significance of the Normandy landings during World War II and the current counteroffensive by Ukraine are contrasted. The Ukrainian forces have spent the past month probing Russian defenses across a thousand kilometers of the front, just like the Allies did after the D-Day invasion in 1944, looking for weaknesses to break through into open territory and start a full-fledged onslaught. The Ukrainian military has decided on a single line of advance that runs from Zaporizhia to Molita Pole on the Sea of Azov after conducting many investigations. With the intention of forcing the Russian forces in the west to fold up their lines, this tactical operation seeks to divide the Russian-controlled territory in half. This counteroffensive is not without difficulties, though. The Russian army has been well entrenched and fortified with landmines, tank traps, and other defensive devices over the course of the winter's sparse battles. The fortified areas south of Zaporizhia and Crimea, where the Russian soldiers have effectively delayed the Ukrainian advance with many levels of resistance, have gone unnoticed throughout that time as Ukraine concentrated on defending Vatni. They have received training in the West, notably Britain, and are instead Western-trained forces, almost like a fresh reserve corps. The 10th Corps, a specialized unit that was kept in reserve, is now being sent out for the breakthrough drive. The decision to commit these additional forces shows that the Ukrainian government understands the importance of delivering results to its Western backers. The Ukrainian forces have decided to go all in despite the obvious hazards, demonstrating their commitment to making a breakthrough. Regarding the possible outcomes of this counteroffensive, it doesn't seem feasible that the Ukrainian forces will overwhelm the heavily fortified Russian lines and compel a tactical shift on the part of the Russians. Although the Ukrainian forces may take more ground and drive the Russians back, it is anticipated that a second spring offensive may be necessary the following year to fully accomplish the targeted objectives. The main concern for the Western nations who are backing Ukraine is whether they will have the resources and patience to keep providing Ukraine with supplies and modernizing its military in the hopes of seeing better outcomes in the future. Overall, there is still hope that the Ukrainian forces will eventually push Russia to its limit and succeed in a big way before winter arrives. If this effort is successful, NATO nations will be more inclined to support Ukraine throughout this protracted battle.